I just saw the film and I'm um, slightly uh, uncomfortable. Uh, my question is, when you first read the script or when you approach for it, what was your reaction? The story has to be told. Hmm. Um, uh, uh, this is a much needed um, narrative. Uh, I can't think of a single woman I've interacted with in my life who has not experienced something similar hmm. uh, or who has not found themselves in such a situation. Uh, and um, I was very excited about the fact that it was written very simply. Um, and um, and of course, then there were lots of other incentives. Nikhil is somebody who I respect and admire deeply. I think what they're doing with uh, Via Yua is fantastic. Uh, I really love and respect Shreya's work. And I think she's one of the finest actors of our times. And I really wanted to work with her. She had another great performance from you, a fantastic one. Um, when you read the script, what was your reaction? Very much along the lines of what uh, Dia has just said, because this is a we. I genuinely hope we genuinely hope that uh, that this film sparks a conversation. It sparks a debate. Like you said, you feeling uncomfortable. I'm glad. You know, I feel. I, I hope it makes a lot more people feel that feel that enough to have a conversation of what consent means to them, of of examining past situations that they probably have been in, but. Yeah, just the idea that we can sort of push the needle in some way was something that was very attractive. And the fact that my job involved looking at beer, I had to do a lot of acting to look sad because I really wasn't. Um, you know, watching this shot and hearing you speak, uh, you know, it's true that all the women, I won't say almost all, all the women in our lives have felt violated physically at some point. But all the men that we know, you know, say they've never done it. So who are these, you know, kind of invisible men? Because all the men we know seem to be blameless and the women we know seem to be affected. And this is, as the two of you said, such an important conversation, um, which is also very polarizing, right? Because it can bring out uh, a lot of differences and ideologies or even perhaps some hidden trauma out there. Oh, absolutely. And, and I think when we... A push for change, it it can happen. It 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 can and should happen, uh, because that's the only way that we can create the changes that we need to. If if we are forced to examine ourselves, our experiences, our lives, and circumstances around us. So some of the men who've watched the film, who've spoken us spoken with us today, have asked pretty much the same questions that the male friends friend in the story asks of Shreya's character Nena. Um, you know, it's it's making them re-examine uh, moments in their own life and, and ask of themselves what they could have done differently or should have been doing differently. So it's important. I think it's an important conversation starter, which is exactly what the purpose of this film is. You know, when you push the envelope, sometimes there's push back as well, right? Because when you stand for an important issue, it is an issue because there are so many um, who oppose it as well. So as actors, what is the kind of feedback you've received, not just for this film, but for the various projects that you've done? No. That's lucky. All right. Yeah. No. Excellent. That's excellent. So I hope I mean, that... I, so I think people... I think being... Okay. Not being vocal is not a trait that I have. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. People are very aware of that. So I don't think they talk about these things because they know they're going to get... Uh, Oh, well thought out argument at the very least. Okay, that's excellent. So I excellent. think people want to engage in a conversation like, yeah, chodo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Yeah, we need more people like you, you know. You no, know, we need to have conversations. That's the thing. I don't think that helps. I don't think that's actually helpful to anyone because if it's uncomfortable, because there's so many aspects, again, there are so many things in the world that are not entirely black and white, consent aside. Because you should be able to have those uncomfortable conversations. And it's not that we are always on the right side of an issue. I have found myself so many times on, on a murky area. And it's only through conversation and discussion that we can find out where exactly we need to learn, where exactly where we can understand where the person is coming from and, you know, empathize or understand, even if it's not empathize or even if you don't condone it. But yeah, I mean, conversation is a very least. Yeah. If you're not talking. Yeah, and also I feel a, a very large part of uh, what we do mm -hmm. 
and why we do it as artists is for this very reason. I mean, at least uh, I can't speak for everyone, but I can with great confidence say when it comes to Shreya and me. I don't think we are interested in aligning ourselves with anything that doesn't really challenge um, us as individuals. It makes us think, make us, makes us understand something better, makes us want to make something better, you know. For sure. So, I, and I also think that most people who are around us, whether it's um, our colleagues or our friends or our family or even fans, I think they all recognize that they they know we're doing what we are because we are passionate about it and we care about it. So it's no, it's not really questioned at all. But if that, anything, if anything, I think we've earned love for it. Yeah.